Hello guys, uh, this is uh, my Imbruna tank, 75 gallon. Uh, I have some, actually I have some peacocks in there as well. Um, so this is all the fishes that I have, the cichlid ones. Uh, I have some jungle wells in here uh, and then some anubias as well. And I also have uh, bamboo, lucky bamboos also uh, in, inside here as well. Just to help me out with the uh, nitrate and all that. Uh, and then I have some rocks and uh, some um, seashells uh, just to, you know, uh, have the pH uh, under control. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm not having any trouble at this time with this thing. Uh, I know there's some here and there, some sort of aggressions. Uh, but other than that, um, well, they don't really target one fish alone. Um, so I'm lucky in that sense. Uh, sometimes they do uh, go crazy. It's because of I have a lot of fishes in there. Because of the stock level, uh, I don't see much of uh, aggression. Um, I do have some babies in here as well. Uh, I'm not able to spot them right now, but I do see them here and there. They always hide. So, yeah. Uh, so, so far, I'm not having much of a trouble. Um, before I did, because I was having fishes uh, dying. Uh, I used to have like every day at least one fish dies. Uh, I think that's the time they were getting used to the tank and also they were having a lot of aggression issues. So I've added a lot of rocks and uh, I've had these fishes from juveniles. Uh, so they kind of adjusted. Uh, now they're they're okay. Um, they're not that crazy. But as a, it's, if any of, one of you looking to go uh, with uh, cichlids, um, uh, you know, don't be afraid. I was afraid uh, before uh, when I started. Uh, but now, uh, you know, I now I know much about cichlids. I've watched a lot of videos. Uh, I researched a lot. Uh, it's not that difficult guys so get on it uh, I would you would really appreciate it like it's it's really one of my uh, pride and joy uh, it's really nice and uh, yeah all right see you guys